Top 10 Things to Do in Florence Hello and welcome to our video about the top 10 things to do in Florence, the capital city of the Tuscany region in Italy and one of the most breathtaking and culturally rich destinations in Europe. It's famous for its stunning architecture, art, history and food, making it a must-visit destination for any traveller. Make sure to watch until the end, as we've saved the best thing to do in Florence for last. Remember to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the best travel information about Europe. We use a mix of travel experience, a lot of local knowledge and reviews to provide you with the most reliable and relevant travel information in Europe, so be sure to visit our website for the biggest travel website about Europe. Florence is a city in central Italy, in the region of Tuscany, with a population of just under 400,000 people. Florence is a city rich in history, culture and timeless beauty. Its medieval architecture, charming streets and high art make it a must-visit destination for travellers. Florence has played an important role in the development of art, literature and science, with famous figures such as Dante and Galileo calling the city home. The streets of Florence are lined with centuries-old buildings and landmarks that tell the story of the city's glorious past, and the city is home to many world-famous art galleries and museums. Florence is well known for its food and wine, the city is home to some of the best Tuscan cuisine, with dishes such as ribolita, papa al pomodoro and bistecca alla fiorentina being local specialties. Visitors can also sample some of the region's world-renowned wines. Whether you're interested in history, art, food or just taking in the beautiful scenery, Florence is a city that has something for everyone. But let's start with a short introduction to the city's history. Florence was founded as a Roman military colony in 59 BC and has since become a cultural and economic centre of Tuscany. During the Renaissance, Florence was a hub for art, architecture and literature, with historical figures such as Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo and Machiavelli among its citizens. The Medici family, one of the most powerful families in Europe, also had a strong influence on the city's history, funding many of the artistic and cultural developments that took place during the Renaissance. Today, Florence is a popular tourist destination and a UNESCO World Heritage Site, known for its stunning architecture, art and cuisine. Now let's take a look at the top 10 things to do in this amazing city. Number 10. See the Piazza della Signora and the Palazzo Vecchio The Piazza della Signoria is a historic square in the heart of Florence, known for its impressive collection of statues and sculptures. At the centre of the square is the imposing Palazzo Vecchio, a medieval fortress turned city hall that is one of the most iconic landmarks in the city. The Piazza della Signoria is home to many important sculptures, including a replica of Michelangelo's David and the Fountain of Neptune, which dates back to the 16th century. The square is also home to the Loggia dei Lanzi, an open-air museum that houses a collection of Renaissance sculptures, including Cellini's Perseus with the head of Medusa and Giambologna's Hercules and the centaur Nessus. The Palazzo Vecchio, also located in the Piazza della Signoria, is a stunning example of medieval architecture and has been the seat of power in Florence for centuries. The building is known for its towering bell tower, which offers stunning views of the city and its surroundings. Visitors can take a guided tour of the palace and explore its many rooms, which are adorned with frescoes, paintings and sculptures. The Piazza is a stunning example of Renaissance art and architecture while the Palazzo Vecchio is a fascinating insight into the city's rich history and culture. Visitors can explore the many sculptures and paintings in the square, admire the stunning views from the Palazzo Vecchio's bell tower, and learn about Florence's past through the many historic rooms and artifacts in the palace. Number 9. Go on a day tour of Tuscany A day tour of Tuscany from Florence is a great way to experience the stunning beauty and rich culture of this iconic region. This tour typically includes a visit to Siena, San Gimignano, Pisa and lunch at a winery, offering visitors a taste of the best that Tuscany has to offer. Tuscany is a region known for its stunning landscape, rich cultural heritage and world-renowned food and wine. The region is home to many iconic cities, as well as countless medieval hill towns and villages. Tuscany is famous for its rolling hill, vineyards and olive grove, which produce some of the best wines and olive oils in the world. Visitors to Tuscany can explore the region's many historic landmarks, sample its delicious cuisine and enjoy the stunning natural beauty of this iconic Italian region. Pisa is known for its iconic leaning tower, a 56-metre tall bell tower that leans at a precarious angle. 
Visitors can climb to the top of the tower for stunning views of the city and its surroundings and explore the many other historic buildings and landmarks in the city. One of the highlights of a day tour of Tuscany is lunch at a winery. Visitors can sample some of the region's best wines and enjoy a delicious meal in a stunning setting. Many wineries also offer tours of their vineyards and winemaking facilities, providing a fascinating insight into the art of winemaking in Tuscany. A day tour of Tuscany from Florence is a must-do experience for anyone visiting the region. Visitors can explore the stunning medieval towns of Siena and San Gimignano, admire the iconic Leaning Tower of Pisa and enjoy a delicious meal and wine tasting at a local winery. Number 8. Explore the San Lorenzo Market The San Lorenzo Market in Florence is one of the most popular destinations in the city, known for its vibrant atmosphere and fantastic selection of local foods, wines and crafts. The market is located in the San Lorenzo neighborhood, which is known for its many artisan workshops and boutiques. One of the most amazing things about the San Lorenzo market is the variety of food and drink available. Visitors can sample some of the best local products, including cheeses, cured meats, truffles and wine. The market is also home to many stalls selling fresh produce, including fruits and vegetables, and artisanal bread and pastries. The market is also a great place to shop for souvenirs and gifts. Visitors can browse a wide range of locally made crafts, including leather goods, jewellery and ceramics. Many of the artisans at the market are happy to demonstrate their craft and offer personalized items for sale. Another amazing thing about the San Lorenzo market is its atmosphere. The market is bustling with activity and is a great place to soak up the local culture and experience the authentic flavors of Tuscany. Visitors can mingle with locals, sample delicious food and drink, and immerse themselves in the vibrant energy of this iconic market. In conclusion, the San Lorenzo Market is a destination that should not be missed when in Florence. Its fantastic selection of local foods, wines and crafts, as well as its vibrant atmosphere and authentic local culture, make it a must-visit destination for anyone visiting the city. Visitors can sample delicious foods and wines, shop for unique souvenirs and gifts, and experience the vibrant energy of this iconic Italian market. Number 7. Visit the Basilica di Santa Croce the Basilica di Santa Croce in Florence is one of the most impressive examples of Italian Gothic architecture and is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in art and history. The church is located in the heart of Florence's historic center and is known for its stunning architecture, rich history and impressive collection of artwork. One of the most amazing things about the Basilica di Santa Croce is its impressive size and scale. The church is one of the largest in Florence and is home to many important works of art and historical artifacts. Visitors can admire the intricate details of the church's façade, which is adorned with sculptures and carvings. The church has been a center of religious and cultural life in Florence for centuries and has played an important role in the city's history. Visitors can learn about the church's fascinating past and the important role it has played in the development of Florence. The church is also the final resting place of many famous Italians, including Michelangelo, Galileo and Machiavelli. Number 6. Take a stroll through Oltrano The Oltrano neighborhood in Florence is one of the city's most charming and picturesque areas, known for its winding streets, artisan workshops and vibrant local culture. Located on the south bank of the Arno River, the neighborhood is home to many historic landmarks and is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in the authentic flavors of Florence. One of the most amazing things about the Old Trano neighborhood is its artisan workshops. Visitors can explore the many workshops and boutiques in the area and watch local artisans at work, including leather workers, jewelers and painters. The neighborhood is also home to many antique shops, offering visitors a unique glimpse into Florence's rich cultural heritage. Another amazing thing about the Old Trano neighborhood is its stunning architecture. The area is home to many historic landmarks, including the Palazzo Guadani and the Basilica di Santo Spirito, a beautiful church designed by Brunicelli. Visitors can explore these landmarks and admire their intricate details and stunning architecture. The Oltrano neighborhood is also a great place to experience the authentic flavors of Florence. The area is home to many traditional restaurants, offering visitors a taste of the region's world-renowned cuisine. Visitors can sample delicious Tuscan dishes and enjoy a glass of locally produced wine. Number 5. Explore the Palazzo Pitti and Boboli Gardens 
the Palazzo Pitti and Boboli Gardens are among the most stunning landmarks in Florence, offering visitors a glimpse into the rich history and cultural heritage of this iconic Italian city. The Palazzo Pitti is a beautiful palace that was once the residence of the powerful Medici family, while the Boboli Gardens are an expansive outdoor space that surrounds the palace, featuring striking sculptures and fountains. The Palazzo Pitti is famous for its impressive architecture and rich history. Visitors can explore the many rooms and galleries of the palace, including the Royal Apartments, the Gallery of Modern Art and the Costume Gallery. The palace is also home to many important works of art, including works by Raphael, Titian and Rubens. The Boboli Gardens are another amazing feature of the Palazzo Pitti, offering visitors a beautiful outdoor space to explore. The gardens are filled with stunning sculptures, fountains and manicured lawns, making them a popular destination for picnics and strolls. Visitors can admire the many beautiful features of the gardens, including the stunning Neptune Fountain and the Grotto of Buontalenti. Another reason to visit the Palazzo Pitti and Bobolo Gardens is to experience the stunning views of Florence from the palace and gardens. Visitors can climb to the top of the palace's rooftop terrace for a panoramic view of the city or admire the beautiful views of the surrounding countryside from the gardens. In conclusion, the Palazzo Pitti and Boboli Gardens are must-visit destinations when in Florence. Their imposing architecture, rich history and beautiful outdoor spaces make them a popular destination for visitors to the city. Visitors can explore the many rooms and galleries of the palace, admire the beautiful sculptures and fountains in the gardens and enjoy the stunning views of Florence from these iconic landmarks. Number 4. Walk across the Ponte Vecchio The Ponte Vecchio in Florence is one of the city's most iconic landmarks and is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in the history and culture of this beautiful Italian city. The bridge spans the Arno River and is known for its stunning architecture, unique history and vibrant atmosphere. One of the most amazing things about the Ponte Vecchio is its stunning architecture. The bridge is lined with small shops and features a series of arches that offer a beautiful view of the Arno River below. Visitors can admire the intricate details of the bridge's design, including the many sculptures and carvings that adorn its surface. Ponte Vecchio is also known for its unique history. The bridge was originally built in medieval times and was used as a marketplace for local artisans, including goldsmiths and jewelers. Today, the bridge is still home to the many traditional shops offering visitors a unique glimpse into the city's rich cultural heritage. Another reason to visit the Ponte Vecchio is its vibrant atmosphere. The bridge is always bustling with activity and visitors can enjoy the lively street performers and musicians who entertain passers-by. The shops on the bridge are also a great place to shop for unique souvenirs and gifts, including jewellery, leather goods and traditional handicrafts. In conclusion, the Ponte Vecchio is a must-visit destination when in Florence. Its stunning architecture, unique history and vibrant atmosphere make it one of the most popular landmarks in the city. Visitors can admire the beautiful details of the bridge's design, shop for unique souvenirs and experience the authentic flavours of Florence. Number 3. Explore the Uffizi Gallery The Uffizi Gallery in Florence is one of the world's most renowned art museums and is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in the history and culture of Renaissance art. The gallery is home to an incredible collection of artwork, including works by some of the most famous artists of all time, many of whom lived and worked in Florence. Visitors can admire monumental works of art, including Botticelli's The Birth of Venus, Leonardo da Vinci's Annunciation and Caravaggio's Medusa. The museum is also home to many other works by famous artists, such as Michelangelo, Raphael and Titian. Another reason to visit the Uffizi Gallery is its stunning architecture. The museum is located in a beautiful building that was once used as a government office, and its intricate design and beautiful galleries make it a true masterpiece of Italian architecture. Visitors can admire the many works of art on display, while also appreciating the beauty of the building itself. The Uffizi Gallery is also a great place to learn about the history of art in Florence and Italy. The museum offers many educational resources for visitors, including audio guides and guided tours. In conclusion, the Uffizi Gallery is a destination that should not be missed when in Florence. Its incredible collection of artwork, stunning architecture and educational resources make it one of the most important art museums in the world. Number 2. 
visit the Accademia Gallery and see Michelangelo's David. The Accademia Gallery in Florence is home to one of the most iconic works of art in the world, Michelangelo's David. This stunning statue is a must-see destination for anyone visiting Florence and is a testament to the incredible skill and artistic genius of Michelangelo. Visitors can admire many important works of art, including Michelangelo's unfinished sculptures, The Prisoners, which provide a unique insight into the creative process of this master artist. The gallery also has an extensive collection of Renaissance paintings, including works by Botticelli and Lippi. However, the main reason to visit the Accademia Gallery is to see Michelangelo's David. This stunning statue stands over 17 feet tall and is a true masterpiece of Renaissance art. Visitors can admire the incredible level of detail in the statue, from the intricately carved muscles to the lifelike expression on David's face. The statue is a symbol of the power and beauty of the human form, and its immense size and imposing presence make it an unforgettable sight. The Academia Gallery is a must-visit destination when in Florence. The collection of artwork at houses, including Michelangelo's masterpiece David, is truly breathtaking and offers visitors a unique glimpse into the artistic genius of the Renaissance. Number 1. Visit the Florence Cathedral, the Duomo. The number one thing to do in Florence is to visit the Duomo. The Florence Cathedral, also known as the Duomo, is one of the most impressive landmarks in Florence and is a must-visit destination for anyone interested in the history and architecture of this iconic Italian city. The cathedral is known for its stunning Gothic design, intricate details and impressive size. One of the most amazing things about the Duomo is its incredible architecture. The cathedral's facade is made of colourful marble and features intricate carvings and sculptures. The dome is also a marvel of engineering, designed and constructed in the early 15th century by Filippo Brunelleschi and still remains the largest masonry vault in the world. Brunelleschi's remarkable innovation was constructing it without the use of wooden reinforcements, as no wooden support would have sustained a cupola of this size. The cathedral was built over several centuries, starting in the 13th century, and has been a symbol of Florence's cultural and religious heritage ever since. Visitors can learn about the many artists and architects who contributed to the cathedral's design and construction, as well as the cultural and historical significance of the cathedral itself. The cathedral is also home to many important works of art, including stained glass windows and frescoes by famous Renaissance artists, such as Vasari and Zuccari. The cathedral's interior is filled with beautiful details, including intricate marble floors and stunning sculptures. In conclusion, the Florence Cathedral is a destination that should not be missed when in Florence. Its stunning Gothic architecture, rich history and impressive size make it one of the most important landmarks in the city. Visitors can admire the intricate details of the cathedral's facade, climb to the top of the dome for stunning views of the city and appreciate the many works of art on display inside. That's the end of our video of the top 10 things to do in Florence. Check out more amazing videos on our YouTube channel or visit our website to find the best travel deals to Europe. See you next time.